Okay, now I know we're recording, but when we get this, I want you to go here and follow me to the door, but I want you to, I'll tell you where to stay. Okay. Okay. When people go, when people come to our house, especially if we have a dog that barks, what happens is we have a tendency to rush to the door because we think in our mind that if we get to the door quick, we'll stop the barking. Actually, it makes the dog think, whoever this jerk is outside is making my humans look how nervous they are. They're moving really fast. So I have to bark even more at this jerk. So we're gonna have, uh, we have the, the family's son is gonna ring the doorbell here in a second and she is, uh, Tallulah is gonna rush the door. I'm gonna show you how to claim the door in this kind of the same way that we, you started out, but I, you were a little bit hesitant, so there, this will hopefully be a little bit better response. All right, so we're just gonna have, uh, let me go this way, just kind of follow me. until they cross this line and then she can only interact in an appropriate way. She can't jump up and do all this stuff. But the distance will help her feel more comfortable and so she's not gonna be so reactive. And the more that you practice this ritual, then the more that she's like, I don't have to handle it, then my humans are gonna have that under control. And just like us, the more responsibility we have in our life, the more stress we have in our life. So for her, if she thinks she's in charge of security and in charge of telling you guys what to do and you don't listen to her, that stresses her out even more. So this way it's like, oh, the burden is off my shoulder. I have to worry about this. The humans have it under control. I'm here to support. We want her to see it. Because again, like I mentioned about thunderstorms, if she can't see it, her imagination will make it worse. But if she can see, oh, it's the UPS guy or whoever it is, but my guardian does not want me to cross this line, then I'm just going to stay back here. And if it is a creep that kind of tries to grab you, boom, she can be there to help you and no problem. But I would practice this because she has some redirected aggression towards Emma. Uh, what I would do is practice with the dog separately so that both dogs understand that they need to stay behind this line. 
and the energy level will, will be not as bad. Now, when she was doing all the circles, that's a neurotic. She's almost in a feedback loop. So uh, we definitely don't want to pet her when she's in any time she's doing circles and really excited like that. And we don't want to correct her or tell her what to do. All I care about is you have to stay on this side of the boundary. So this is how I would recommend that you answer the door. I'm guessing that you had established the boundary here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the problem is you have multiple goes here. Mm -hmm. I just make it right here. I don't mm -hmm. care if she wants to go there. She just can't cross this line. Okay. All right? 